imagine one day you're sitting in Paris, you're sitting there having a fucking coffee, and terrorists roll through with AKs, and the person next to you has their brains blown out. You're gonna stand there and be like, waiting to die like a motherfucker. I'm gonna be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, duck and dive in, take one terrorist out, next get the AK, go Rambo. I don't play games. Have you ever seen a Chinese per person working for someone who wasn't Chinese? Bro, now that I think about it, not I, have about not. it. Not really. I have not. Have you ever seen a pregnant Chinese lady? What the fuck? I haven't. Terry Heft got 3.5 inch thing. Am I never gonna have a good relationship with women? You're probably one of those dudes who walks down the street and everyone just looks at him and goes, yeah, small dick. I hope you get really insecure next time you're out in public, like walking down the street and you see someone look at you a little bit. And you're like, oh, why are they looking at me? Oh, it must just be normal passing traffic. No, everybody knows. When you go talk to a girl in a club, hi, my name's Terry. She knows, they all know. When I was in school, I was on the bus in Indiana. How old was I? Six or seven. And there's these two kids who were maybe nine or 10 who used to pick on me from behind. And they used to pick on me on the bus all the time. And I came home to my dad and I said, they picked on me. He goes, well, what are you gonna do about it? I was like, well, I don't know what to do. They're bigger than me. He goes, you have a lunchbox? That was his answer. So anyway, they kept picking on me, kept picking on me. After about two weeks later, I remember one of them slapped me on the side of the face and it mm -hmm. stung. And I turned around my lunchbox and smashed him clean in the face. And it was a plastic Batman lunchbox. It was blue. And when I hit him, it splintered and it cut him. So blood squirting everywhere all over the, the school bus. And the two bullies are like, now they crap themselves because the kid they picked on all of a sudden just turned around and smashed him in the face. So I came home. After I hit him, I instantly, as the bus stopped, I turned around, smashed him and ran off the bus. So as I ran off the bus, I ran all the way home, like scared because I just hit him. And I got home when I just had the handle of the lunchbox. And my dad saw me and he instantly said, Let's go buy a new lunchbox. And we went to the Walmart and he said, I'll buy you as many of these as you need. People who don't fight have this idea that you just keep your gloves up to protect yourself. But the problem is, is that that doesn't work. If I punch 20%, right? If I'm actually going, just like, it's, your, your, your face will be a mess. So the idea that you just cover up doesn't work because if I'm landing knuckle, I'll break all the bones in your hand. Your glove will go into your own head. You can't just stack and stay there. You can't against someone who can't fight. Against someone who's big who can punch, you're gonna get fucked up. You have to move. And why does everyone think we're mafia? We're not mafia. Like, we don't run around with machine guns. I mean, obviously we have guns. Anyway, I don't think I'm mafia. So I said to Tristan, look, we're not mafia. Tristan goes, yes, we are. I said, why? He goes, we're two huge fighting brothers with women naked on the internet who own casinos, who drive around Bucharest, Romania in over $2 million worth of fucking supercars. Everyone's afraid of us. And if anyone did piss us off at any point, even if we didn't want to fuck them up ourselves, we can make one phone call and they'd either be in a ditch or lose any right to stay here. They'd have some visa issue and be kicked out of the country or arrested for no reason and put in a jail cell for months at a time. We are basically as mafia as you can get. So I guess I'm mafia. I didn't mean to be. I see that you are a white man, so you may He's not have that person. Actually, actually, no, can You're you on. Google and put a picture of my father on the screen? You just failed on step one by identifying me incorrectly. So, <laughs> I'm step, not step knowing two. you, I no, don't know step, you. Of course you don't know me. There you go. I don't know you, so I'm guessing you failed. So You did the same thing earlier to me. In which area have I once failed when discussing We can run it back to you? the first 10 minutes. You don't want to run this skin review back, because when you <laughs> run it back, you're going to see yourself get smoked the whole way through. <laughs> so listen, my dear. Listen. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, so let me change the scenario. You're upstairs. You have an AR-15. Three unarmed men break in. Between you and the chick, one of you has to take the gun and go down there and deal with all three of them. She's scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. They're downstairs. Go, go shoot them. Go shoot them. Are you going to go? Yeah, or why is she scared? And you, you're not, why only can, he, can she be uh, can she be scared? If she, if she has tra better, better training than I do, if she's better shooter than I, than I am, she's taking a gun roll. I'm not. I'm, if I, if she, what? You're in my brain. Am I, not, am I talking Chinese? If, I, if, if she, bro, I, if she is a better shooter, she's taking gonna, a gun. You're going to send your girl downstairs. I don't know, bro. Some know me as a throw goat. Some know me as a <laughs> semen demon. Some know me as a glizzy gobbler or the Greek freak. I'm an OnlyFans bitch. I love to suck dick. And I'm here to ruin his life tonight. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, let's first, first things first. I'm going to say two things. Let's start with two things. <laughs> and I'm so fresh, 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 fresh. <laughs> you must have some kind of spray disinfected. Well. <laughs> I can just... You know, up, up in, up in the I air. I got some bug spray for you. Because oh. <laughs> I say this, people come to me and go, you're arrogant, bro, you're arrogant. And when I read that, I think, yeah, I am arrogant. I'm arrogant because I'm a four times kickboxing world champion. I came from absolutely nothing. I grew up in a single parent household in social housing. I'm now a multimillionaire, a Dessa millionaire, a kickboxing world champion. I'm retired for life at 30. My mother's retired for life. My brother's retired for life. All, anyone I care about, I can just throw money at. I have a million dollars worth of cars. I live anywhere in the world I want. I do anything I like. So yeah, I'm a little bit arrogant, but I'm arrogant because I've earned all of this and I'm happy with who I am. And I'm happy to sit down and tell everyone that I'm the fucking man. And I genuinely believe I'm the fucking man. And that's because I'm a happy, contented individual. 
And all the people who sit there and tell me, you shouldn't be oh so arrogant. They're the people who are unhappy. You shouldn't be arrogant. You should be like me, a meek, humble piece of shit. Well, I don't want to be like you because you're a fucking loser. 